In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to blacklist a lost or stolen Apple device or what to do after you lose an Apple iPhone or any Apple devices that are registered with Apple iCloud. My name is Kenneth Brown. Well, hello, my friend. My name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to Channel Signal Tech. And how are we doing today? I'm sure you are not doing too well if you're watching my video for today. I'm very sorry for the loss of your Apple device, but let me try and make this simple, quick and easy. So, so the first thing what you need to do is get onto the official Apple website and follow instructions, simple and easy. So you get onto the Apple website. I'll be leaving the link for this web page down in my description. It's very useful. You could just follow it step by step if you do not remember whatever I'm trying to explain through my video for today. So the first thing is you need to go ahead and try to look for your device on a map. So how you could do that is sign in to your iCloud account by clicking on this link and uh, finding your device. You, you would be surprised to know that even if an iPhone is uh, switched off and if it's misplaced, you could track it. You could log into your iCloud account and find it there on Maps. Because these days, most Apple devices come with a function automatically signing you in for Find My Service on Apple devices. But by chance, if Find My Phone was not turned on, you could click on this link to protect your account. Now, the second thing is, if you try to track your phone and it is not traceable, you need to go ahead and mark it as lost. So when you mark your device as lost, you would remotely lock it with a passcode. Okay, so if you do that, your phone is actually going to get blocked. Nobody else could actually unlock it it's not possible to unlock a passcoded iPhone now by doing this your Apple pay account is going to get secured nobody else could use it and you could also leave a custom message on the lost phone after you do that step number three is to report your missing device to local law enforcement file in an FIR or put in a report so when you are filing in your report your IMEI number or serial number would be needed you are going to get that on the bill or the box of the iPhone or the Apple device or if you do not remember that click on this link to find the serial number and you could recover it out here after you do that the fourth step is to file a theft and loss claim now, if your phone is covered by Apple Care Plus, you could file in a claim for a iPhone replacement. Now, before you remotely erase your device, you ensure that you get your replacement from Apple Care. Only after you get your replacement, then you could go ahead and perform this function. But it is imperative enough for you to do step number six, which is contacting your wireless carrier and informing them about the fact that your device is missing so that they could block your SIM or disable your account so that it is not misused. And once you do that, step number seven is going to go ahead and help you remove your device from your list of devices from iCloud. So once your claim to get a replacement of your Apple device is approved, you get your Apple device in your hand, you go ahead and perform this function. You go ahead and remove that from your trusted devices from the list of devices on Maps. So by doing all these things, your iPhone is going to get blacklisted and the person who thinks has found your iPhone is uh, lucky is not going to be lucky because that phone is going to be just a piece of junk and nothing else give my video a thumbs up post a comment subscribe and hit the bell notification icon take care my friend